Good day everybody and welcome to the Neo-Gothic Victorian House Let's Build. Now you might be scratching your head going, hang on a second, this, this already has a Let's Build series. And I will go, aha, it doesn't. Not technically anyway, because the How to Build Good series never specifically built this house. It was extensively modified from that series, but there was never a legitimate Let's Build for it. So let's stop faffing around and let's get into it. Um, the main dimensions of the house here are 21 across, 28 deep, and 9 blocks tall. This is the first floor sort of unit, and we'll be, we will be building it one floor at a time for the sake of simplicity, and hopefully quickness. I don't want this series to go on forever, because it's not something I was really envisaging having to do. If my voice dies halfway through this... Um, I do apologise, but I have not been feeling that well. Um, I suffer from hay fever. Hay fever is literally the worst, and right now, I'm just getting wrecked all day, every day. Anyway, the, the driveway at the front is 21 by 14, um, including the front of the house here, so you count this block as well. But if you want, you, can, you could say it's 21 by 13 if you want, if you're going to go up to here. So, yeah, honestly, not difficult. What I want you to do is once you've built your, let's say, this is a very scaled down version of it. Let's say this here is your house. Here you've built, you've built, um, you built this, your frame here. What I want you to do is inside, I want you to build a quartz ring around the inside like this and then fill everything that's left in the middle with the dark oak planks. Of course, it's going to be much bigger than this. It's going to look like this. But at the back and the front, what I want you to do is inside the two walls on either side so these bits in here get rid of the brick and replace it with quartz like this so you end up with something which looks a lot like this but on a much much bigger scale in fact this scale over here Whew. you got that good excellent um now we come to the front and this is where things get a little bit complicated but i shall attempt to explain them nonetheless as you can see here, I've marked where the front of the house should be, but we are consistently sort of never on this line. So let's explain some changes that have been made. First of all, this is the porch section here, and it's got a two block gap to the edge of the house here. Uh, not gap, my bad. Um, two block section here before it goes cuts back three blocks deep. So if we just get rid of this, you can see that we are three blocks deep and this is your quartz in a wall here. We are built, and then we come across five. Well, technically, we come across six, and then it's back. Look, if you just look at it there, you can build that. That's honestly easiest thing in the world. In here, remember to uh, place these quartz blocks here because it will be an internal wall. Now then, we go across one, two, three, four, and on the fourth block, we start the bay window from above. This is what the bay window looks like. If you can imagine, this is the uh, out, outer wall of your front of your house. This is what you have to do. So there we go. There is the dimensions. Two, one, across six, back one, across, back two. And that should be that. Um, unfortunately, I can't get the entire thing in the shot, in the same shot, because this is in the way up here. But nonetheless, I think that covers that quite nicely. These bits in here, they're not crucial, but when we come to do the interior, that's where the internal wall is going to be. Right, let's stop faffing around and let's start doing some actual useful things. Now then, up here, we have uh, another layer. This is a ceiling and a floor here. These are on the eighth and ninth blocks, or height, height wise. So on the ceiling section, I want you to mirror exactly this bit down here. So if I build it from the corner here, like this, I will find another corner up here. But do not put anything here on this section at all. This section is reserved for bricks. This is the front porch bit here. These three blocks here, I want you to brick it up entirely, like this. Do, do, do. Job done. And the same goes for over here, these same three on the opposite side. We want these to be bricked up as well, like so. 
job done. So we end up with something that looks a little bit like this. And of course, we want to build here as well. To help me, I've mirrored my um, bay windows bottom structure on the very top layer, the ninth layer here. You can do the same thing as well. It's kind of useful, I guess. Actually, it's very useful. I recommend you do this. And it's basically mirroring what you've built down there on the top here. Very, very, very simple indeed. Um, now, let's talk about where we're going to position the door. I want the door to be dead center. Well, the door is dead center. So we will build up two, of course, like this. And I think we're going to go with a sort of H design. So we'll build up this entire thing like so. Break out the stairs. Um, what should we do? Should we just have some design like this? I think I can't remember the design. I can't actually remember the design, which is a bit shameful. There we go. And I think we'll do that as well. There we go. And then what you want to do is just want to fill this gap in here like such. Job done. You can put brick over here, but I can't remember the design exactly. But there you go. That's the porch done. Let's move on to this thing here. This monstrosity is, of course, the bay window. Now, we're going to start here in line with our wall and we're going to build up with quartz like so. And on the other side, identical, we're going to build up the quartz again all the way up to here. Now, your first window is going to sit here. So obviously that means we've got to place one pillar here like so. Oh, stopped flying for a second there. Lost my superpowers. Must be some kryptonite in the area. Um, I apologize if I got that wrong. I've never been a great Superman fan. In fact, I've never really been a comic book fan at all. So there's your sort of twin pillars. Leave these two bits here and then place blocks, place pillars here and here like so. So you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Now, the next stage you want is you want to see where your ceiling is, which is here. It is six blocks from floor to ceiling. So this is on the eighth and ninth blocks as I said before and what you want to do with your ceiling is you want to build it into the bay window like this so you know where to place your windows this is very very important you do this bit so if we just sort of there we go that is that now then we're gonna have to break out the stairs here this is um this is up for debate how you do this but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it how I do it do it, obviously upside down stairs here upside down stairs here upside down stairs here upside down stairs here there's a little bit of a gap here but do not worry because we've got to place a quartz oh that's a sign what the hell am i doing i'm going to place one quartz here and one quartz here this world must be permanently laggy or something now your windows oh wait rats hold on a minute i've forgotten to put some upside down stairs in the middle here there we go job done your windows should be five tall so one two three four five and we reach the layer you put in with the ceiling now then we have a pattern on the bottom but we have no pattern on the top so we're going to modify the ceiling layer with regular stairs so it's exactly what you did at the bottom but with regular stairs so we delete that regular stair delete the corner here regular stair two in the middle here regular stairs this one on the corner a regular stair and a regular stair in here like that and that is all you need to do you need to fill it with glass now like this um, just fill all this with glass here fill every single bit with five pieces of glass and then once you've done that in here just build up with brick and there you go the front is done oh yeah don't forget to um, fill these bits in the porch with glass as well like this front is done do not do any more to it um you can add buttons if you want um i i trying to remember where i added them i think i added them here on these quartz blocks around the corner here uh, i can't be certain but that feels right that feels right there you go and now the front is almost i mean there's gonna there's a lot of decorations go around the porch but honestly we're not going to focus on that yet that comes later what we are going to do is go around the back I think what I'm going to do is take a brief time check here, see how much time I've got to go through this, and also try and remember how I built my goddamn conservatory and get rid of this thing here, and I'll be right back. And welcome back to the back. This is where we encounter one of the most complex things in this build, which is the conservatory slash sunroom. So we're going to be getting onto that first. 
First, however, before that even, I want you to place these two things in here, this beam here, which you should already have, and then one block lower and one block back, this quartz beam here, which signifies, signifies, indicates where the ceiling is. Now, for your conservatory, go to this edge, place two bricks like so, and then come out by seven. And we're not going to be, we're going to be using quartz and stairs for this. So one quartz, one, two, three stairs, another quartz. So you, currently you're five out and then six and seven. And you, then you turn a corner and then you place another quartz like that. And that serves as the start of the cross bit here. So one, uh, we need stairs here for this bit like that or do we I this is really this is even I'm confused by this I even even I'm confused by this I literally don't know what the hell is going on one two three no one two three four five six and the middle two are the door Right, it makes sense now, it makes sense now. Um, we just need to rejig this so that it ends up like this, which is uh, convenient. So place like that, like that. That Don't do that, that's in the wrong place. Um, how did I do that before? It was like this, wasn't it? Excellent. And then we come around the corner and place this and this. And then we place this like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. We are all good in the hood. Excellent. At the front here, go up three, across, go up another three, and come across, like so. Job done. And then we want to extend these up by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's a plane going over outside. It's really loud. And then what we want to do is we want to place uh, clear glass. So bloody hell, that's loud. That must be a really, it's a biplane, I think. Cool, I like biplanes. And we're going to place our glass all wherever there are stairs, we place glass. And there's going to be four bits of glass. I'll only put in the top bits because it's the only bit, the only bits we really need. So hold on a minute. This might take a while because it's glass is terribly fiddly thing and I hate it. Uh, glass panes are such an ass to place because they're so thin. Ah, at last. Excellent. And now, on top of it, we're going to place more stairs. So we're going to place stairs like this. It's up to you how you read it. You can just go crazy with the design of this, honestly. It doesn't really matter. Um, although I am fouling up this thing. No, and there we go. I'd like I like it to mirror like that. So I've actually done this one correctly. Oh dear. Excellent. Love. Oh no. Stop. There we go. Um, at this point, I think we're going to build up the quartz on the inside, like such. So we've got things up to here. You can build in the uh, brick if you want as well. This first episode is going to be like 20 minutes long. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> anyway, we must now grab some actual glass blocks. Uh, like this. And these sit in here. Like this. Uh, I'm trying my best to remember if I'm actually going to get this right. At the moment, the odds aren't looking that good. And now I want you to do something slightly strange. We're going to place some upside down stairs. This looks weird, but all will be, all will be revealed. All will be revealed. And of course, we have to uh, cover up our glass at the end here. And then we want to place our stairs like this. And you can place stairs in here for decoration if you want. There we go. And now, in here, you want you to place stairs around the top like this. If I haven't done this right, this still looks pretty damn good, I'm just going to say. And then fill this entire section with glass. And there we go. Right, on the inside now. Let's put these here. 
Actually, hold on. I think those need to be brick, don't they? Um, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying this at all. This is actually really tough. Um, that's got to be brick. I think. That's got to be brick. That's got to be brick. But these ones in here have got to be quartz. Like that. That actually looks about right. That looks about right, honestly. Um, yeah, I'd say that was fairly alright. I mean, you could replace these with brick here, honestly. That would perhaps look a little better. Yeah, there you go. Let's call it that, shall we? Let's 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 leave it at that. That looks like it's been bombed out with something horrible. But let's let's go over here and build a window instead because windows are easier. Two bricks here. Leave a space. Brick here. Brick against here. We've got a gap of four. Excellent. Right. Let's build a window. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna go up to here to level the ceiling. Build these pillars up to level the ceiling, and then across because our windows are one block lower than the ceiling because it looks better that way. Because if we look inside now, we've got a gap that's equal and it looks lovely jubbly. How you design your windows is really up to you. I use a very simple design, upside down stairs here, um, regular quartz here, and then stairs on top here. And if we go to the top, we're going to mirror this exactly. So regular quartz here and here, regular stairs, oh no, regular stairs here, please. And the upside downs there, and of course, we fill this with glass, like such, and add buttons to the corners, and then we surround the entire operation with a layer of brick, and everything is lovely. Of course, there is the door to do here, so I think what we'll do is we'll have a bit of brick here, and we'll have something like that, and we'll just have a simple window in here, like such. And there you go. Barring, oh yeah, you've got to fill this in with glass. Why don't you? Fill this in with glass. Um, and in here, um, just go wild, really. So I did this. I got rid of all this. And I put in uh, dark oak stairs here, like such. And the floor is just oak. The floor in here is just regular oak. And once you've done that, I think we're going to leave it here because I think we've done quite enough for this first episode. It's been very chaotic and I'm apologising for that. We won't do the layout just yet. Uh, we'll come on to the layout when we do the entire layout of the house, I think. It's probably going to be better. So yeah, next time we'll be building the second floor. Uh, that should be a lot easier and I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.